Welcome back to Southwest Overland. This time we head out with the El Paso, Texas Overlanding and Expeditions. We're heading to Chloride Canyon in Mexico during the fall. We do meet up at Cabela's on the west side of El Paso, Texas, and we make our ways to Tier C. It is a long drive. We did plan on filling up there at Tier C and giving members an opportunity to meet up with us and load up on last minute gear at the Walmart right there in the TNC entrance. We had a total of 25 rigs join us, but once we were all ready, we hit the road headed towards Winston, New Mexico. Winston is not very far from the old town of Chloride, New Mexico. There at Chloride, there is multiple locations you could stop, use the facilities, and view the museums. At this given point, we also had a chance so we could start airing down our vehicles, so that we were able to hit the track. Like I said, 25 total vehicles joined us, and here we go, let's enjoy the adventure. The trail starts off very mild, but it is recommended to have high ground clearance and four wheel drive, for we will be encountering a few switchbacks later on down the trail. As we descend into the canyon, the fall colors start shining and everything starts looking more beautiful. Do remember, you are in the Gila Forest, so just make sure to tread carefully. As a reminder, there is cattle grazing, so make sure you stay conscious of all the animals that are out. As you are taking this trail, you will notice you cross the same stream multiple times in multiple locations. I have never taken this trail during a rainstorm, but I have heard from friends that sometimes it can get pretty sketchy you get caught in the middle of a storm. This trail offers a lot of history behind it. There's petroglyphs included for one of the viewing sites that the Gila National Forest marks. There's many campsites located along the trail. We decide to make camp at the largest location. It has multiple fire pits so that way people can enjoy them. Everybody has their own different kinds of setups, from tents to rooftop tents. We are all still here for the same reason, and that's to enjoy the outdoors and explore new terrain. As the dark starting to set in, we light our fires and we get to making dinner. Just a good night to be able to enjoy good friends. The second day for our group is completely optional. There's some early birds that get started early in the morning and head back. But we decide to take our time and we eventually start hitting the trail again to complete all of Chloride Canyon's run. Out of the 25 vehicles, only 5 of us remain. We are left to finish off the last 30 miles of the trail. For whoever is interested in doing this trail, just as a reminder for full sizes, there's a lot of sticking out branches, so pinstripe is not going to be an option. But beyond that, this is where the course gets technical. A little bit of a climb, so 4 wheel drive is a must.
most of the time as you're climbing, these are all going to be switchback roads, which means tight U-turns as you go up the mountain. Loose gravel will be encountered as you're climbing these hills. As you are transversing the forest, you will finally see a cabin on the left hand side. This is part of Monument Park, a little location in camping with facilities available for the campers. As you can see, the scenery is starting to change. These are now tall pine, which allow for different animals and very, very pleasant views to be seen. trail comes to an end, we are able to look back and see all the beautiful things that are left for us as we start hitting the road again. This does give us an opportunity to air up again so that we were able to ride comfortably back into town. I would like to thank you for joining us again in another adventure as we head back into Winston, New Mexico. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hey, remember, get out there and enjoy life.